Being sleepy is easy, so look at the dark blue VLPL, ventral lateral preoptic area. If I turn that one on, it's nighttime, I'm supposed to go to sleep, the light has gone away. Look at that, that was cool, right? This little pinpoint area sends little fingers and neurons to every other wakefulness center and said, knock it off. One little tiny in your part of your brain says, go to sleep. And it tells all those other wakefulness areas, one, two, three, four, five, at least six, seven of them, to shut down, you're inhibited, I want to go to sleep, do not wake me up until eight in the morning, all right? So going to sleep tends to be easy when you think about the math of this. You're talking about one thing. And what else can we do? Let's make this daylight now. All right. Almost there we go. Daylight. It's morning time. Your VLPO is making you be asleep. Well, we want to shut it off. The tubromammary nucleus, it's part of the switch, right? If VLPO is on, you go to sleep. If you switch it over to the TMN, you're going to wake up. Blue is histamine. Remember, antihistamine makes you tired, so promoting histamine wakes you up. So tubromammalin nucleus turns on because it's morning. The suprachiasmatic said to do it. It turns the VLPO off. The sleep center can't turn itself on. You send histamine up to the front part of the brain to wake up your cortex. Life is good. Snooze alarm number one is hit. You're partially awake. Next, who's the next player? Let's see. So the VLPL disappeared. Uh, the lateral hypothalamus, hypocretin, same thing as orexin, same chemical, two different names. That turns on. This is kind of cool, too. He's got little fingers and everybody else here, right, going, wake up, wake up. So the orexin's job, the hypocretin's job, is to go to all those other wakefulness centers and wake up, start running. I call this the backup generator, right? If your norepinephrine falters, you get poked by orexin, turn back on. Serotonin disappears at 2 o'clock, orexin turns it back on. It's another little tiny nuclei, but it uses orexin or hypocretin. These are stimulating, arousing chemicals to wake your brain up. Basal forebrain lights up, uh, so do the PPT and the LTD. This is acetylcholine. One of, you know, this is your reticular activating system. This is your, your arousal wakefulness system in your, in your midbrain, right? So acetylcholine wakes things up, thalamus and your cortex. Uh, ventral tegmento, it shoots dopamine everywhere. Dopamine's a wakefulness chemical, right? Remember our stimulants? They're uppers. Cocaine, uppers. Why? Dopamine lives there. So dopamine center comes on. The next thing, norepinephrine from the locus ceruleus comes on. That wakes you up too. And the Rafa and serotonin wakes you up. Look at all these, sim these, these circuits it takes to be awake. One tiny little thing made you go to sleep. And it takes seven to wake up, right? So again, if one of these things falter, you have backup systems. What if three go down? Now you're tired and sleepy. So again, if it gets dark again, the VLPL comes back on and says, hey guys, knock it off, go to bed. Right, we've come full circle.